It's time to put your toes in the sand and a tiki drink in your hand. Mixologist Kanan Zimmerman of Spinatos is showing us three classic tiki drinks. We'll start with the 1942 Mai Tai. The original recipe for a Mai Tai is debated, but this one favors dark rum for that extra hint of molasses. Then add the pineapple and orange juices, simple syrup, and ice. All right, Tom Cruise. Float with Grand Marnier, garnish with mint sprigs, and serve. That's pretty simple. Yep. Cheers, America. Next tiki drink, the Singapore Sling. A sling is an old uh, English drink. Okay, Singapore Sling. So how do we make it? We're pouring the Hendrix gin. It's got a pretty nice personality. <laughs> Combine the gin, Grand Marnier, brandy, and Luxardo cherries with syrup in a glass and make sure to muddle the cherries. So what does muddling do? Uh, the muddling uh, breaks up the fruit and gives it and imparts the flavors. You know, we're going to strain the drink so you get just the color and the flavors of it without the pieces. Got it. Add the pineapple juice, fresh lime juice, dash of cherry bitters and shake it up top off with soda water and garnish so good you really taste the cherries it brings it out the, the flavor is perfect for this the final Polynesian pleasure and probably my favorite the planters punch and we're gonna get some of the spice rum the Captain Morgan there yeah another ounce of that Captain, thank you, Captain. Loaded with fruit juice, this is a great tiki drink for those especially hot days. Mix in the lime, pineapple, and orange juices, and the simple syrup. Hit it with a little soda water and garnish. Planters punch. Plant one on ya. I thought it was gonna be a lot more sweet than it is because of all the juices, yeah, yeah. but no, not at all. It's perfect. To see the full recipes for these Polynesian punches, go to thelisttv.com, savoring the South Pacific in style on the lowdown.